On today's episode, we have a whole bunch to do. I'm going to start out at my booth dropping off some stuff. I'm also going to be taking home something from the booth to help furnish my sister-in-law's new rental house. So this is her new rental house. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of it in the video. And we are going to clean it and furnish it. And we're going to do this with free and secondhand finds. So this is a great way to show you that you do not have to have tons of money to make a house a home. We're going to have an absolute blast today. Most of this stuff was free. We did have to put in a lot of sweat equity with cleaning. And I did spend a little bit of money on some things from the dollar store as well as the Goodwill. I got her some decorations. She's going for a black and red theme with her home decor which I think is going to be so much fun. I found some really great stuff at the thrift store and then I'm going to show you what we're going to be using for her dining room. It's going to be great. Let's go. First we're going to start out at my booth. I have all of these really great items that I thrifted and picked up from the Goodwill bins and I need to stock my booth. I also need to fix my booth up. It seems that a lot of people kind of rearranged it when they were shopping so I need to fix that up. And I'm going to be taking home this table with me today because it's going to be going in my sister-in-law's house. But here is my booth now that I have fixed everything and restaged it all to look nice and pretty. I do still need to fill in some more spots but I think that it's great that I have spots space to fill in more of my stock that I have at home. Now let's head to my sister-in-law's new rental house and start working over there. Hey guys, welcome back to Desert DIY. Today we have a really special mission that we're going to try and accomplish. My sister-in-law is moving into a new rental home, which is where I am right now. And we're gonna try and furnish her home for free or for super cheap secondhand. I've already sourced some things that were free and I'm going to be working on some of the secondhand things. But first I have to clean up in here, so I am mopping, but I have to go and pick up a big china hutch that's free, and then I have some more things that I'm going to pick up for free tomorrow, but we're just getting started, so let's see what we're working with here. So as you open the front door, you are greeted with this long, narrow living room, which is such an interesting shape to furnish. This is like the entry area, I would think. And then I would think that the couch and everything would go over here. And then over here could be like an office or play space. I'm not really sure. The way that the plugs are makes it kind of difficult. You can't put a TV here because there's no plugs. So I'm thinking we're going to put the TV along this wall right here, but then it's centered on the hallway. So I'm going to have to get creative with where the couches are going to go and just play around with it a little bit, but maybe put a bookshelf in here and like the little play area right here. I'm not sure, but the kitchen area is nice and big. I love it. It looks great. And um, over here on the dining area, it's so much bigger than I could have even dreamed of for getting to decorate for her. And it definitely needs to be cleaned. I have a free hutch that is coming that is going to go on that big wall. And then the pantry is going to have some organizers in there. And then the table is going to go in the middle. I need to find some curtains for this window for some privacy. And then I think I might do a kitchen island in here if I can find one. But first, let's put this this little table that I got from my booth that I created a little while ago. I didn't do a video of this, but I will do a video tutorial of how I made this table. I'm just centering it on this wall while the door is open. So that way it makes the most sense visually and also functionally. But I do have a tutorial coming for how I got that wood effect on there using some paint. It's really neat, so easy to do, and I think you're going to really like it. 
But let's get cleaning in the dining area because I need to get that hutch out of the back of our truck and put it into the dining area um, right away. It's getting so hot outside, so the sooner the better. I'm scrubbing all of the surfaces using a disinfectant cleaner. It's already been cleaned in here according to the landlord, but you know how that is. It's not really clean, and I'll show you what I mean when I give you some close-ups later in the video. But I'm just wiping down all the walls. We found some boogers stuck to the wall. So that just goes to show you that when they say it's clean, that doesn't really mean that it is clean. Now that it's clean, it's time to bring in the hutch. Me and my husband were carrying this in together and we got this hutch for free on Facebook. Somebody had posted it over a week ago, giving it away for free and it was in like new condition. In the picture, it showed that it was missing a handle, but don't worry, it has extra handles that come with it. I'll show you what I mean in a minute, but it really just needed to be dusted underneath. There was some spider webs and things underneath there. So I just cleaned that up and my husband tightened up that little support in the middle and it was literally good as new you guys this piece was extremely high end and looked brand new the people we got it from had said that they also got it for free because they clean houses and sometimes when they're cleaning houses the owners of the houses will give them furniture that they're trying to get rid of and they have a small apartment so they didn't really have space for this and decided to give it away and you know pay it forward which I think is absolutely amazing and now this piece is in its rightful home with a family that's going to really enjoy it and treasure it. This piece was probably a couple thousand dollars brand new. It's extremely well built and I love the finish that's on it. I think it's going to go really well with the red and black theme that we're doing. And look, it's a basset. It still had the tags in it. That is how excellent and like new this piece was absolutely gorgeous the cherry finish is the perfect red tone for the black and red theme that we are doing and my husband's just going to clean it up using some regular furniture polish there's no work that needs to be done on this piece but we're going to give it a good cleaning put everything back together and you'll get to see what i mean about it having some extra handles as well i've never seen a piece come with extra handles like this one did but that is so cool but let's get it nice and clean and make sure that it's ready for its new owners and ready for my sister-in-law to decorate it how she wants to decorate it. Now that the hutch is all clean and put back together, it is time to start cleaning the pantry area. I have some dollar store bins that I got that I'm going to put in here to help her organize her pantry and keep it looking clean. Since it doesn't have doors, you have to get creative and if you're on a budget, the Dollar Tree baskets are a great way to make something look organized and more clean visually and also is a great way to bring in the pop of black that she wants in her home decor.
Yeah, and while we're at it, here's another reminder at why you shouldn't trust when somebody else says that they cleaned something because a lot of times they did the bare minimum. When you're moving into a rental home or if you're picking up a piece of furniture from somebody, always do your own cleaning because you cannot guarantee that the person before you actually cleaned it well. And if you are short like I am, you would have never known how nasty that was up there and you could have possibly been putting your food where that was, whatever all that was. You know, you just you really got to take cleaning into your own hands and get detailed with it. As I was cleaning the windowsill, I noticed that the little weather strip around this window had a bunch of mildew growing on it. So I cleaned that up with a bleach cleaner and made sure to get rid of all the mildewy blackness that was on there. Could have already been mold by now. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert. But you got to make sure to clean these type of things. Windows are especially prone to getting mildew on them in areas that are humid like we are here in Houston, Texas. So you got to make sure you're checking that and not letting it grow out of control. It's one of those things that you can kind of forget exists, especially if you have curtains or window covers like blinds, because you don't really look at the window very often. But don't forget to clean these areas, especially when you're first moving into a new place. I also took my mop and cleaned the floors in the pantry and I'm cleaning all the walls for the rest of this dining room and then I will finish cleaning up the floors. My sister-in-law did do a mop with some bleach uh, yesterday before I came in to do all this. So the floors were actually not dirty but I just wanted to make sure that I was cleaning all the baseboards really well and then I mopped again because why not? I might as well while I'm at it. Now it's time to put in these little baskets. I did five baskets per shelf and then I did six baskets of a smaller basket on the top shelf. Kids snacks right here, everything here for them to reach, yeah. stuff like that. 
The next thing that I cleaned was the light fixture. It had tons of dead bugs in it. I won't tell you which ones because it's pretty gross. But there was tons in there. It was really icky and it had a lot of grease on it. That's why it was brown. It was actually not meant to be brown. It was just that dirty. So I cleaned it in some hot water with some Dawn dish soap using a rag. And it became out really nice. It looks brand new all over again. And then we're going to put it back together. But before we put it back together, we are going to vacuum out the fixture. Because, like I said, there was a lot of bugs in there. Really icky ones. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. If you're wondering what my little ones were up to while I was working and cleaning, uh, they were helping clean too. I like to give them a mop that's damp and just let them go to town and have fun thinking that they're helping and it helps them to earn a really good work ethic for when they get older. They'll know exactly how to mop and they'll have an appreciation for how fun it can be to clean your own home. Get away. It's time we make a change. You know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see So the dining room is pretty much done for today But behind the fridge is really disgusting And I wanted to show you this as well Because it's a space most people completely forget about and the whole room when I showed it to you looked like it was so clean when, when I first showed you the tour of the house, right? Everything looked clean on the surface, but you really need to dig and look behind things and all that because there was tons of dead bugs back here and there was really gross amounts of just trash and dirt and sticky stuff and who even knows what. So we swept it out, then vacuumed it, and look, we found a lucky penny. Had we not looked under here, we would have never found this really gross penny to give us good luck <laughs> so always clean behind your fridges if you can a lot of fridges have wheels on the back so you just tilt them back and then roll them out and that is how we got this out and we even left it plugged in just to make it easier on us and I used a really strong scrubby to clean it out and then cleaned it with a paper towel at the end to make sure that I dried it really well I didn't want it to get any kind of mildew growing back there but look at how icky that was back there Make sure you're cleaning the spots that you can't see, especially when you're first moving into a new place. Next, I had these cute little rugs that I got from the dollar store, and I put them in the bathrooms. The bathrooms are already cleaned. I did that off camera, and the shower curtain still needs to be put in. I'm going to see if my sister-in-law already has one or not, but I did buy her a new shower curtain liner that I will do in part two or three of this um, house decorating furnishing video series that I'm doing here but the next thing that I'm going to do is actually go to Goodwill and see if I can find any home decor she said she wants pops of red but mostly black so the decorations that I'm getting are going to be in mostly red because the furniture itself is all black except for that dining hedge and I'm even going to be redoing a dining set for her in black so we do need to get some pops of red and I think that these are gonna look great this right here is not for her makeover for her home but I just had to pick this one up for myself and always look for lampshades at Goodwill because you can get them for a really good price if they're in good condition make sure you check the condition really well I also picked up these cute little mirrors I think this would be great for her little entryway area and then I saw this little sign that says eat and I think that'd be really cute to go in her kitchen with her black and red theme. And then all of these curtains and pillows I picked up for free. So I had posted online on my neighborhood Facebook group saying if anybody has any curtains or if they have any furniture that they're getting rid of to help furnish my sister-in-law's home. And you know what? People are so ready to donate stuff. These were not in the best condition. But the stains that were on here were probably like a washable marker or something because they did come out when I used some stain cleaning stuff on there. I think this one was a tied one, but they did come out in the wash. But just something to think about if you are on a really tight budget, a lot of people don't want to donate their stuff to Goodwill. They don't want to do the work of taking it there and they just don't want to donate to Goodwill. They'd rather donate specifically to a person who needs it so that the, the item is going really to somebody that actually will appreciate it and love it and need it instead of them having to take it somewhere that's going to make money off of it and somebody else has to spend money in order to get the items that they need. 
So when you ask your local communities, hey, I really need this for somebody in need, or if you are that person in need, say, hey, you know, I really could use this item if you're going to donate something like this. I would love to come pick it up from you. And you will be surprised at how many people will be like, yep, I got exactly that. You can come and pick it up. I'll put it on my porch for you. And that's what I did with all of those curtains. And now we may have just the right amount of curtains to do all her windows in her house. And I also washed those pillows that I got from Goodwill. For her dining set, we have had this set in my garage for a really long time. We got it for free. It was on somebody's curb. It has six chairs and the table, not this shelf right here. But it is in pretty good condition as far as its structural condition. Really great. And it's funny because the chairs actually had red seats on it already, although I am going to change that. But it's just really dusty and covered in spider webs from being in our garage for a really long time. But we're going to make this over for her dining room to match her style. And you guys, I am having so much fun doing this. This totally reminds me of how my channel started out with doing lots of flips and decorating for young adults that were aging out of foster care and I haven't gotten to do that since we moved here to Houston two years ago. It's just been impossible to get um, an agency to work with me. They won't answer me or I'll leave messages, nothing, or they'll direct me to this person who could use the help and then I hear nothing back from that organization. Like. It's very strange, but we don't know why things are the way they are and things just happen the way that they're supposed to. So we're waiting for the time to be right and whenever somebody really needs us, hopefully we'll be guided to be there to help them. But for now, I get to help my own family and I am doing this completely for free for her. I just love doing this. It is so much fun for me and it makes me happy to help others and create a home for them. And the legs for this table were somewhere in this pile, so my husband had to dig for them. But we aren't going to get to finish this project today. This is to be continued. This is going to be probably a two, three, or four part series where I completely do like all the rooms in her house. So I hope you really enjoy it and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of the videos of this project thank you so much for watching i post new videos every wednesday and sunday so i will see you next time bye